Harley Quinn and Peacemaker, we are making two Suicide Squad's cakes to, 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 to celebrate the movie. These cakes look pretty cute, so let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quality Pops. My name is Idris Alba. Damn, that guy's fine. And welcome back! This is the new set, sort of. I tried to feature all of my old boom boxes. The new wallpaper didn't come in, which is why you're stuck with this mess for probably five or six videos. I was actually going to post this video after the wallpaper stuff and everything was complete, but I don't know when that's going to be, so I decided to just give you the mess. I really loved the Suicide Squad. Oh my gosh, it's like a million times better than the original movie. So I decided to create two cakes to celebrate. So let's get into this. We're making Peacemaker and to create this cake, I actually tried to use all of John Cena's costume colors in the cake. I made this like tie dye. I hate it. <laughs> it looks so busy. It just looks terrible. I decided to make Peacemaker. This was before I saw the movie and I just realized <laughs> that I don't like this character. <laughs> He's a terrible man. What he does to Rick Flagg? Gosh, how is he gonna come back from that? I know he has a television show coming out and I'm gonna watch it, but I don't know if I want to. <laughs> the thing I did like about this character though was that he made his ridiculous helmet look not so ridiculous because his fighting style is really cool. I love the banter that him and Idris Elba have in the movie. Idris Elba is the one that deserves the show even though his character is very similar to Will Smith's character. <laughs> yeah, they better bring him back. He deserves his own show. Now, after I added the Peacemaker belt buckle, my cake was complete. What do you think? Oh my gosh, Snorlax looks so good as any character. Now we're gonna take a nice slice out of this cake and reveal that ugly mess on the inside. I destroyed all my cakes like this because I wanted it to look like they were exploding. You know, because they're in the Suicide Squad. Now let's move on to Harley Quinn. Now for this cake, I tried to incorporate all of the colors in Harley Quinn's hair inside the cake. I just thought that, oh, I messed up right there. <laughs> I thought they looked nice on the inside, but I really don't like this tie-dye effect. I don't think it looks nice at all. Now I cut out my Snorlax shape. I was really excited about this. A Snorlax Harley Quinn? That is... It's just like the two greatest things ever mixed into one. Now I know some of you guys don't like this version of Harley Quinn that I decided to make, the male gaze, but I really like this costume. Sorry, I just did. I even bought a Christmas sweater and I wear it. However, I do like the other versions of Harley Quinn and that yellow whatever sweater jacket thing she's wearing in Birds of Prey. Oh man, I was trying to figure out how to turn into a doll cake, but it's too top heavy and so I didn't recreate it. After I finished adding her clothes, it was really fun to add these pigtails. Oh my gosh, and this giant hammer? Oh, oh wow, look at that. Now, I made these cakes before I saw the movie. I made these when the trailer came out and although I love John Cena and Harley Quinn, the, the John Cena underwear scene, what? I was not prepared for that. They didn't end up being my favorite characters once I saw them. King Shark and the Polka Dot Man. Who? I, I didn't even know that comic book character existed and now he's my favorite. So there will be a part two coming soon just because I want to feature those two. They're, they're the best. Now like I said, the set was supposed to be finished before I showed this to you, but it's not. But I'm kind of excited because now you get to see how everything changes. I ripped out all of that fake I don't know, brick, and then I'm just going to paint this white and then I'm gonna add the new wallpaper when it comes in. I bought it on Etsy and Etsy's not really so like, I don't know, the delivery times, they're just not linking up. <laughs> but I do get to show you my boom boxes. They've been in my parents' garage for like so long. I didn't know if I wanted them to be a part of the set because they have nothing to do with baking. But you know what? I love them, so I'm gonna celebrate them. Now I haven't been making that many YouTube videos. I've only been making shorts and like 30 second videos because I wanted to start building my Instagram and my TikTok. So you're going to be seeing a lot of those videos coming up on YouTube, but there will be a new video every Wednesday and probably a few more since I'm so backlogged with content. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I'm creating a hybrid cakes using emojis. And if you go there, you put in your emojis, I might turn them into like a hybrid animal, like a half food, half animal sort of deal, or just 
two different animals combined as one. They end up looking like Pokemon. No matter what I make, it just ends up looking like a Pokemon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're happy. I'll see you very soon. Bye.